Hey there, Papper people. It's uh, Leaky Lefty here. We're talking about mouth leaking. Now, someone mentioned to me the other day, like, man, you, you spend a lot of time talking about mouth leaking and how to stop mouth leaks. You know what you got to do is you got to use a full face mask. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. One, for me personally, I don't like full face masks. I feel like I'm breathing my own air, my own dog air. I don't like it. I don't feel like it opens up my airway as much. Just me personally. If you're using a full face mask, Keep using it if you like it, stick with it. I'm not asking you to change. However, if you're using a nasal or a nasal pillow mask, just something that covers up your nose only, leaving your mouth exposed to the environment, and you have a mouth leak, super common problem, very, very common. If you have that going on, you're waking up with a dry mouth, you're waking up with doing that kind of stuff, you probably need to tape your mouth. And a lot of you have asked me, what is a method that you use for taping your mouth? I'm gonna show you that right now. But, but, but before I do that, I have to shout out the sponsor of this video, CPAPsupplies.com. That's right, folks. You can't have a mouth leak unless you have a mask. And you can't have a mask unless you buy one. And I highly recommend you buy one from CPAPsupplies.com. My God, that could not have been more smooth. Check out their masks, huge supply of masks, every brand. I. I'm gonna say this right now. Fisher and Paykel makes a very nice mask all up and down their lines. Very good full face mask, which obviously doesn't apply to this, but they make the Bravita and they make the Isan 2. Both of those, probably the most quiet masks on the market. If you have not tried those out, highly suggest you take a look-see at them. Really, really solid masks. Anyway, on all their masks and their accessories, you can get 20% off if you use discount code 20LANKY. If you wanna know what a mouth leak is like, like I said, you're gonna need a nasal or nasal pillow mask, so get one of those today so you can suffer along with us mouth leakers. You know what they don't sell though? Is cover roll stretch tape. Now in a previous video, I was talking about Somnifix. Um, Somnifix actually sucks really bad and it's really expensive. So this is about, about three quarters of an inch in height. Cover roll stretch tape is a full on two inches in height, yes? Size does matter. So brand new fresh box. What I do is I cut off enough to extend beyond my mouth about a half inch on each side. When we put this on, we gotta purse our lips together really tight. As tight as you can, make it almost uncomfortable. It's just gonna last a couple seconds. So cut to the appropriate size here. And what I like to do at this point is I like to be laying in bed. I take my mask, in this case I have an N20 with an air touch cushion, and I don't have it on, I have it slightly up. Now I've been laying in bed, this looks awesome. Now typically at this point I've been laying in bed for a bit, now I'm gonna peel this off. I like my heart rate to come down, and then I like to dog ear one corner. The reason I'm laying down and calm is because when you put tape on, sometimes you feel like you have to take a deep breath and it's kind of uncomfortable. So I have this dog eared. Purse my lips together very tight, Mm-hmm. Gotta push really hard to get that to pop. So Jason, you may be asking yourself, why are you so militant about this tape? I'm not, it's just, it's very cheap. You can get two rolls of this on Amazon for about 10 to $12. That is super cheap. Another thing I get asked a lot is, do I cut a hole in the tape? Absolutely not. You cut a hole in the tape, you just put a hole in the bucket. It, it, it's not gonna work right. You're trying to hold back a leak. You don't want your mouth to leak at all. If you introduce a hole, air is gonna come out of it. Now there's a lot of other products out there. Some are too strong, some aren't strong enough. You have a lot of people using Micropore. It's like a paper tape. Very, very uh, structurally not good. It crinkles a lot, leaves a lot of passageways for air to get through. You also have things like Kinesio tape. Now a lot of people have started using Kinesio tape, I'm finding, because apparently it's the same as hostage tape. I got news for you, hostage tape really sucks. Uh, kinesio tape, I used to work with a lot. I don't know if you know this or not. My degree is actually in kinesiology, so I'm very familiar with it. Very, very stretchy, very porous too. Not good at holding back the leak. It's also pretty expensive. I heard someone say it's very cheap. It's not. You can get one roll of it. It's a much, much shorter for the same cost as of one roll of cover roll tape. But if you get two rolls of cover roll tape, you're actually getting four times as much for the same price as one. That said, use whatever the hell tape you want. I don't really care. For me and other people that have tried cover roll stretch tape, they find it works extremely well. Give it a shot. And that's all I've got. If you want me to check out your data, 
axgsleepdiagnostics.com. I do pap analysis sessions. Other than that, thanks for watching. May you be leak free. Bye. Clean your stinky mask with some mask bright available at Amazon. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick <coughs> thanks butter to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espalong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swearingen, Chung Tu Chen, Edward Steiner, and Shannon Kerr, and another slightly less thick thanks buddy to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and others.